Have you given any thought to what kind of treatment you would like if you were critically injured or ill and unable to speak for yourself? Who would make those decisions for you? Would that person follow your wishes? In order to ensure that your wishes are followed, you must have a document called an advanced directive. An advanced directive allows you to consider several issues in a time where you can comfortably contemplate your desires and have an opportunity to discuss these wishes with your loved ones. In the event that you are unable to speak for yourself, without an advanced directive in place, someone will make those decisions for you. There might be a chance it is not what you would prefer. In today's talk, I will explain to you what an advanced directive is, how you can prepare one, and how it can prevent issues in the future for both you and your loved ones. You don't need to consult an attorney in order to prepare this document. A template is available for you on the State of Michigan Department of Health and Human Services website. In this document that HHS provides, you are able to designate the person that you want to act as your patient advocate. The person that you designate as your advocate has to agree to the task and will also sign your document. Even if this person that you choose is not your next of kin, Based on what you designate in your directive, what he or she says goes. In my particular case, my husband is technically my next of kin. However, I chose my daughter to act as my patient advocate for several reasons. In this document, one is able to designate what, if any, life-sustaining treatment you want in the event you can't speak for yourself. It allows for you to determine if you want to be on a ventilator, be fed, have resuscitation efforts, etc. The advanced directive also allows for you to predetermine what type of mental health treatment you agree to in the event that you're unable to make that determination. The template allows for very specific choices. Lastly, the directive documents your desires regarding organ donation. Keep in mind that the advanced directive is not for financial power of attorney. That is something you will have to prepare separately. One can also find guidance on filling out advanced directives from your health care provider, hospital, or if you desire, an attorney can assist you. To store or keep your directive, there are registries available that will hold your directive. A Google search will list several. Most of these websites will charge a subscription fee. If you should decide to store it yourself, Make sure that it's kept somewhere accessible and where your advocate knows where it is. It is not recommended to keep it in a safe deposit box where only you have access. There are several advantages to having an advanced directive prepared. First of which is that you are able to decide what treatment that you desire in the event you can't speak for yourself. Keep in mind that an advanced directive is not a one and done document. You may amend it at any time. You may change your decision about treatment, select a different advocate, etc. As your life situations change, so can your advanced directive. Another advantage to having an advanced directive is that it gives you the opportunity to inform your loved ones of your wishes. It also allows for you to advise your family who you want to be your spokesperson. People in general don't like to discuss end-of-life issues and are really good at avoiding the conversation. Speaking for myself, I would rather be able to talk to my family in a non-stressful atmosphere about my concerns than have them arguing about it in an ICU waiting room, wouldn't you? An article published by Reuters in 2017 indicated that only one-third of Americans have an advanced directive in place. That means that for 66% of the people, end-of-life treatment decisions will be made on the fly. I encourage you today no matter what your age, that you give some serious thought about what you would like to happen if you were unable to make your wishes known. Do you want to lay this on your family? Will they do what you want? Do they know what you want? Younger people are not 10 feet tall and bulletproof. They need to consider this too. Remember that you can change your mind at any time and as many times as you like. Do yourself a favor Give your loved ones a break. Start the conversation. 15 minutes of your time can save a lot of grief and wondering. 
Start the process today.